I'd like to be a sofa in red, retro, maybe in a private member's bar. She was a sympathetic listener, but she felt she had to warn him. It's a competitive market. Maybe you should start as something flat pack. No. A designer sofa or nothing. In the end, she let go. Mum had become deflated again. He couldn't find the pump, so he blew her up himself, red and giddy, until she was full. I need you, she said. The air leaves me quicker every day. I know, he said. And then he'll smile. He dreamt of a sharp needle pressing hard into Mum till she burst. One of the laptops was playing a DVD. Old school flesh people moved across the screen, laughing and dancing. Mum was screaming again. The air from her whooshed around the house. But he didn't go to her this time. He huddled against the coffee table and listened to her screams for hours. He felt big. In the morning he went into her room. He placed Mum in a bin bag and fell asleep over the catalogue 20 minutes later. Later that night on the internet, he'll find the white plastic table in the sun in Malaga. Still white, but weathered. He'll click and watch a flickering image of it. Send one back, quite recent, but before his lining ripped. She'll message him the next day. They'll marry six months later. We should sell sofas from a website, she'll say. Yes, let's, he'll say. And then he'll smile.